Mafade Guam, and welcome to another segment of Island Palette. I'm your host, Lieutenant Dave Blas from Joint Region Marianas, and with me here today are two ladies who are going to feature their two local dishes with a meatless alternative. And to my right, we have. Hi, I'm Rose Cahill, and uh, this is my cousin, Patria Sablon. Okay, so Rose and Patria, uh, starting off with you, Rose, what are you going to be make, making for us today? Well, I have here tofu. It's very firm, and uh, it's uh, draining right now. It's drained since last night. And um, I think I'm going to make a really good tofu keleguin. And it's an alternative to a fish keleguin or chicken keleguin. Yeah, that's, a, that's a first for me. Great. Never yes. heard of it. All right. So it, interested try in it. trying it. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And you, Penny? Okay, and I will be making a simple dish. It's called black-eyed peas and spinach soup. Okay. okay. Very simple to make. And Rose, we're going to start off with your tofu keleguin Tofu keleguin. Yes. Okay, great. Now, Rose, is this... Um, firm or extra firm? Uh, no, it's just a firm. Just, just a firm, firm. okay. Uh -huh. And so what I do first is cube the uh, tofu, okay. mix them all together. Sure. Okay. You know, this is something that you can make um, for your family in less than half an hour. Sure. If you have your coconut grated, I have the coconut right here. Okay. It's already grated. What I go to next is I have a uh, the juice here of uh, three lemon. I also need salt. So for this amount of tofu, probably about maybe probably, half a probably teaspoon. About, uh, probably about a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Yeah. Some uh, green onions to get the most flavor out of these green onions. You kind of squeeze, squeeze it a little bit. bit. And it's, and it's kind of nice that we do that. Sure. So there's about uh, two of the uh, local green onions here some uh, bunny pepper that I got from my yard, and uh, some basil here that I'll probably add to my, uh, to the calico. Okay. Okay, so uh, again, the pepper and this cal the uh, green onions to your taste, okay? Okay, and the salt. And the salt okay. to your taste. Some lemon juice, probably about two uh, lemon. And there it is, just a little bit of coconut, mix it up. Looks just like the fish calaguin that I make. There's one thing there's missing though. What is it? Tatitas. Right. Honestly, guys, I did not right know here. she had it right behind. Yes. Lieutenant? Sure. Very simple. I've seen tofu being, you know, fried or stuff like that, but to eat it, you know, with just having the lemon kind of cook it, so to speak, it's really good, Rose. Okay, Guam, so we just featured Rose's tofu keleguin, and now we're here with her cousin Patty, and she's gonna teach us how to make her black bean spinach soup. Now, Patty, could you please go over the ingredients? Yes, this is a black eyed pea with spinach soup. Okay, you simply would use uh, two and a half cups of broth. I use vegetable broth, one can of black eyed peas, uh, a can of diced tomatoes, one cup of salsa, eight ounce can of tomato sauce, and like a half a teaspoon of sugar and maybe two handfuls of fresh spinach. You'd start off by pouring in your broth, medium to high. Add your black eyed peas. Wait for that to boil. In this recipe, it's a black eyed peas, but you can use any peas, you like, any kind of bean you like. Gabonza beans, uh, navy beans, pinto beans. Pork and beans. You could too, that's <laughs> simple too. Go ahead and pour in the diced tomatoes. Add the salsa, tomato sauce. As you can see, it's bubbling. This would be a good time to add sugar. Balance off the acid with a little bit of sugar. And I would just taste it. I think it's really good. We'll let it wilt naturally okay. in the soup from the heat of the soup. Sure. You're right about the salsa. Yeah. It really gives it the It gives it the same. Yeah. Well, there you have it, Guam. Two local dishes with meatless alternatives. Here to my right, we have Rose's tofu keleguin. And to our left, we have Patty's black bean with spinach soup. 
And uh, before we close the show, I'd like to say thank you, Rose, and thank you, Patty, for teaching us uh, these two unique dishes. Tune in next time for more island favorites. Adios, Guam. Adios. Shall we? Okay.